Hello and welcome to Faithfully Stampin' with Jennifer Helm. I am Jennifer Helm, the Faithful Stamper. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up. I have today for you a gift card holder and I kind of think that this one might possibly be the easiest gift card holder I have ever made in my life. Um, it does not take a lot of supplies. It is super easy, especially if you cut your paper right. Um, that's something I was struggling with a little bit earlier, but um, if you avoid that pitfall, this will go together very, very quickly. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. So it's very small. It just about fits in the palm of your hand. It has a belly band. It opens up, has a little flap for your message inside, and then your gift card will slip perfectly right in the pocket, and then you're ready to reassemble, and it would fit in an envelope if you needed it to mail it or present it in an envelope to your recipient, or if it was for a friend or a coworker, you could just present it like this. That would be a cute little surprise for someone to find. Um, I think they would love it. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started. This would be really easy to mass produce. You can actually get two entire gift card pockets, including the belly band out of one sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And that will leave you with a three inch strip left over, which is actually the size that we're going to use to start our gift card holder. So I have a piece of pretty peacock cardstock. This is three eighths of an inch by eight and a half. And um, we're just gonna score it a couple of times and then we'll be ready to go ahead and assemble the pocket. So not much to it. So you will need a scoring tool, either a scoreboard or your paper trimmer with a scoring blade. And we are going to score that eight and a half inch side two times. One at one and three quarters and again at five and three quarters. So here we go, one and three quarters. Make sure your cutting blade is out of the way. You don't wanna accidentally cut off your cardstock. I like to give it a little back and forth and then slide down to five and three quarters, back and forth again. That's all you have to do. So you have one panel that's a little bit smaller than the other. The small one is going to be your top flap and then the bottom, the one on the opposite end is gonna be your pocket. So you can just give them a quick fold, either with fingers or with a bone folder. I like to glue my designer series paper on before I do any more assembly. So we're gonna decorate it with some designer series paper. For my top flap here, I'm going to use a piece of designer series paper that is one and a half inches tall by two and three quarter inches wide. The paper I am using is from the Garden Walk Suite. Um, beautiful pack of six by six paper. You're gonna see a little bit more of it in my samples here shortly. And no special adhesive is needed for the decorations on this um, gift card holder. So I am a tape runner girl. I like my um, stamp and seal. I almost called it press and seal. That's kitchen uh, stamp and seal. We'll get into the special adhesive you'll need uh, a little bit later. Now for your pocket piece here, you're going to use a piece of designer series paper that is two and a half inches tall by two and three quarter inches wide. And I'm gonna just lay this here and make sure it's the right size because for some reason earlier today on my Facebook Live, I had my paper cut wrong and then I did it again. So two and a half inches tall, two and three quarter inches wide. And you can either use the same print, top and bottom, or mix and match. This would be a great way to use up scraps of designer series paper since you only need them to be two and three quarter inches wide. I actually think I could use some of these for my inventory. So I'm gonna grab some old retired paper and um, make up a bunch of these. Just get rid of some of that paper I have laying around. Okay. So there's my designer series paper attached to the top and the bottom. Um, now I'm going to put in a little notch to help me, um, it just helps your gift card recipient pull the gift card out a little bit easier. You could use a half circle, any kind of shape you really like. I'm gonna use something a little different. This is our Alphabest punch. It coordinates with our Alphabest stamp set, which has lots of letters, and this the, the letters actually fit right inside the, um, the size of this punch. But I thought, let's use it for the notch here. 
So um, let's see. Just I eyeball it. You can um, use a pencil, ouch, and a ruler, oh goodness. Um, I just pinched my fingers a little bit with my punch. That's okay. Um, so there's my punch. And now when I put my gift card in it a bit later, you can see that just gives a little bit more grasp for my recipient to um, pull that gift card out. So here's where your special adhesive comes into play. You need either liquid glue or tear and tape to be a nice secure um, pocket. Otherwise it might pull apart. So I love, I don't know if I didn't like glue as a child. I avoid glue whenever possible. Maybe I just make a mess, I'm not sure. I like tear and tape when I can get away with it. So I'm gonna use our tear and tape. This is a quarter of an inch wide. And I just pull back against a clear block to kind of give myself a neat edge. If your tape is wider, you won't want to use that because then your gift card will not fit nicely in between. This is like the perfect size to fit right in between. So wider tape would definitely um, create a problem for you. So if your tape is wider than a quarter of an inch, use liquid glue. And the basic only difference is you just have to let the glue set for just a little bit to kind of grab and form that pocket. So I'm gonna peel the backing. Okay, my fingernails are not working today, so I'm gonna grab my take your pick tool. I have this nice piercing tool end, and so it helps me just lift off the edge of my tear and tape, especially when I'm struggling. So all I have to do is fold that back. I've got my little pocket, and here I'm almost ready to go already. Before I put the belly band together, I'm gonna do the piece for the inside. So I grabbed a piece of basic white. It is the same size as the short DSP on the front. So one and a half by two and three quarters. You could leave this blank. You can stamp a message on it. Um, remember, you're not gonna have a lot of room to write. So I'm keeping my messages small when I use a message or for this one, I'm keeping my message on the outside and I'm just gonna put a little decorative accent on the inside here. So I have pretty peacock ink and a scrap paper. And I used the, the stamps that I'm using tonight is the Modern Garden. So it coordinates with the paper, the stamp, and um, the punch you're gonna see me use in a minute. So I'm just gonna use this little floral for um, the accent inside. So I'm just gonna stamp it up with a little bit of ink. Add a little accent to my corners. And then this piece is ready to glue on the inside here of my gift card holder. And now we can go on to decorating the outside. So for your belly band, you want a strip of cardstock that is one by eight and a half. So as I mentioned earlier, you can make two complete gift card holders um, with one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, you'll get two belly bands and two pieces um, that would form your base here. And then you'll have a third piece that is actually this size. So you can make three and then grab another scrap for your belly band, um, just in case you're thinking you might wanna make more than one. For my belly band, I just lay the cardstock down on the table. I don't use any kind of specific formula for this. Um, I'm just gonna put my gift card holder on the middle of the belly band and I'm gonna fold. Now some people might put the seam of their belly band on the back. I am not because I can hide it with the sentiment um, and punch that I'm gonna put on the front. So it's up to you where you wanna put that and um, that way if you're a little bit crooked with your folding, which I very often am, I can kind of camouflage it a little bit, it's not so noticeable. The trick with your belly band is you don't want it too tight that you'll struggle and mangle the gift card holder when you're trying to put the gift card inside and write your message and then put the belly band back on. So you want it snug but not too tight that it's bending it. Another little piece of tear and tape will do the trick here. Or again, liquid glue would work. You'll just have to hold it for a second. And if you use liquid glue, make sure you um, just don't use a whole lot because I'd hate for you to have glue seep out and mess up the beautiful gift card holder that you just made. All right, so. Whoop. 
there we go. I'm just going to press that together. You can see I've got a little bit of give in here. Not too much, but it's going to be able to keep things together for me. Now to decorate the front, I'm going to use Wild Wheat. This is a color I pulled right out of the Designer Series paper. I never otherwise would have um, put these two colors together, but um, this Wild Wheat looks more golden when paired with the Pretty Peacock, and I just love it. So um, I'm using this Wild Wheat more than I thought I would. So I'm just gonna grab my stamp, and it says, wishing you the warm blessings of Christmas. This stamp pairs perfectly with this punch that I'm going to show you here. This is the Modern Oval. I apologize if there's glare, um, but it's a, not your typical oval, it's more squared on the corners. Does that make sense? I know ovals don't have corners, but it's not oblong like an egg. Hopefully I'm describing that right. Anyway, you can see what shape it's gonna look like here. Um, perfect size here for my stamp. And I managed to do that without pinching myself. So I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back here. I'm going to choose to put them in the center here of my sentiment and my punched shape. I don't want them hanging off the side because obviously then it would be stuck together and that wouldn't be very helpful for my recipient. So I wanna keep them centered and my belly band centered here. There we go. Oop. So you have a little leeway. If your fold is a little too close to the top or bottom, you can move your punch and position it wherever you like. And keep that in the center. This looks nice, but I wanted to give it just a little accent. So what I did was I previously stamped and then fussy cut two of the poinsettia shapes from the Modern Garden stamp set. And I try it at first here on white, but if you can see, I didn't fussy cut it perfectly and it kind of bothered me that I had some white showing through. So I decided to try it tone on tone with the real red um, ink on real red cardstock. That worked better for me. So um, I still had a bit of a, a noticeable spot in the middle where the stamp is blank. So I colored it a little bit with a real red blend and that kind of softened it a little bit. And I'm gonna show you in just a second how we're gonna hide that. But I'm gonna take, I'm gonna switch to my smaller dimensionals here and I'm just gonna put one right above the top and on the other side above the bottom of my sentiment, but keeping them on the belly band. And obviously if you're not decorating with flowers or anything, you don't have to worry about this step. But then I'm going to position these little accents here. And this just kind of brightens up my little gift card holder. And I mentioned I wanna hide the middle there where you can see just the slightest bit of color difference. So I grabbed some of our Blooming Pearls. These coordinate with the suite as well, that uh, Garden Walk, Modern Garden Suite. That is in our Holiday Mini, which is good till the end of the year and a couple days into the new year. Kind of hard to believe we're talking about that already. Um, so we have gold and then three other colors. They're, they've got a little bit of iridescence to them. I think they're beautiful. And so here I used one solid gold, but we're gonna change it up a little bit. And I'm gonna use three of these small gold pearls to accent the middle of my flower. And then you can um, see which one you like better. I might have to order these since I'm using my gold pearls up so fast. Nope. I love my take your pick tool for grabbing these because if I try to use them with my fingernails, chances are they fling across the room. All right, let me see if I can, there we go. One of mine got a little bit out of place there. There, so there's my bling. Which do you like better? I'm really torn. I think maybe I'm leaning a little bit more towards the three pearls um, for the center, but um, I asked on my YouTube video and I kind of had a split down the middle. Now you can very easily change the look of your gift card holder simply by reversing the size of your top and bottom DSP if you like. And so here you can see I put the busier piece on the top and the more subtle print on the bottom but otherwise it's pretty much the same. Um, but I love it, super simple, 
very quick and easy. All right, so I have some more samples to show you. I grabbed another piece of designer series paper from that same suite that you just saw and just used a different punch. This is our heartfelt hexagon punch. It's an online exclusive, which you can find right there on my website if you're interested to check that out. We do have some new online exclusive releasing in just over a week, so be sure to check that out. And if you're more of a paper, um, paper catalog kind of person and you don't have a demonstrator that you're currently working with, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to drop a copy of a paper catalog into the mail for you. It's really no trouble. All right, so here I just offset the hexagon, uh, different orientation, but this is one of my favorite stamp sets, I think. Um, beautifully coordinates with that punch. And then I kept my sentiment very simple on the inside to leave room for a message there. And again, switched up the look simply by putting the striped paper either on the top or on the bottom of my gift card holder. There we go. So both beautiful, very simple, no bling added to that one, but I really like how they look. Then I had to break out one of our new sets that I finally got my hands on. This is another online exclusive that's currently available. This is our Truckin' Along stamp set and the Coordinating Punch. So I used some of that Garden Walk paper, but I paired it with Gingham um, from a different pack of Designer Series paper. Used a stylish shape die for my background piece here. Add a little bling, and then perfect for Christmas. A little more on the masculine side maybe, so that would cover if I have any gentlemen that need a gift card. And again here, I just mixed it up by putting the, um, the opposite paper on the top and bottom of the gift card holder. And obviously this isn't just for Christmas. This can be used for any time of year. So I grabbed one of our upcoming online exclusives that I was able to pre-order. And um, you can see how adorable these are. These are our fluffiest friends. So again, I used that oval punch or the hexagon, but changed up the look completely with some floral paper and a cute image. And then these both have a little happy birthday message inside. And on this one, um, with this cute little bunny with a cupcake, rather than two designer series paper, which you can see here, I used the same print instead of mix and matching, um, I decided to mix and match with some embossed cardstock. And here I used our new Twisted Rope 3D embossing folder. I think this is gonna be one of my favorites. Um, it can be nautical, but doesn't have to be, obviously, since it goes with the little bunny. And there you go. So I really hope that you enjoyed making or learning how to make this um, easy peasy gift card holder. I hope you give it a try and that it suits your needs. If you have not already, I would love for you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. You can click the notification bell and receive a notification each time I post a video here on the page. And you can always hop over to Facebook and check me out at The Faithful Stamper. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and happy crafting.